All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting here in the Freedom Office. And uh, one of the things I wanted to do was talk about this thing made in China. Uh, yeah, right now is a very unique time in our history where we are seeing the uh, country of China uh, actually taking sides with a uh, the Russians and a couple other things. But uh, this video stems from the fact that when I was putting that guy right there together uh, last week, one of the guys mentioned in a comment is like, KB, I can't believe that you're promoting stuff made in China. And uh, well, the case is, is that my response was that uh, not, I, I don't really recall going, yay, China, or we're promoting this because it comes from China. And then unfortunately in today's age, if you are a YouTube reviewer, um, we review products. So if if you are interested in things that are made in China, that it's regardless of the fact. Okay, so anyway, what I'm getting at is that you have something like this. This is the uh, Holosun. This is the uh, 406, whatever it is, 50, no, God, I can't see them blind as a bad, 5530G with the ACSS reticle. All right, uh, this guy right here, made in China. Um, I'm not promoting the fact that it's made in China. You'll always know where it was made. It's up to you to make that decision of whether or not you want to purchase this thing. Okay. However, with that being said, with today's world, and unfortunately in today's world, a totally ridiculous amount of items in what we deal with are made in China. One of which is probably the computer that you're watching this video on or your telephone, the camera, the microphone, the lighting, the freaking computer screen that I'm looking at right now, probably made in China. Um, so how do we get away from that? Uh, as a YouTube reviewer of items that are made out there for us to show you where they are or how they perform or whatever, I'm always going to be able to tell you where it was made. Uh, the, the interesting part about it is that we have nobody but ourselves to blame for all these items that are made in China. A lot of people want to talk about uh, uh, greed, corporate greed. I'm going to say that's part of it. But also the corporate greed is, is, is by human greed. So this is a red dot right here. Okay. Um, if everyone were to buy these guys right here, then they probably wouldn't buy this guy right here. Okay. But because we as a population in America always try to go for the bigger, better deal, cheaper, 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 the only way you're going to get something cheaper is to buy something that is actually manufactured in China. So we ourselves are to blame for that. Um, so yeah, you've got a red dot that's a pretty decent performer uh, for $200. Or you can have this guy right here for $650 or $700, something like that. The reason we have to review items that are unfortunately made in the uh, Asian market, and not necessarily every Asian market is bad. Let's just talk about this. Um, this is the primary arms. This is their uh, gold line or GLX line. These are made in the Philippines. Philippines is still a Pacific Rim island. <laughs> and also um, this item right here, this scope uh, was made in Japan. Okay. So... I understand that we hate China. I do too. Can't stand buying anything from China. But unfortunately, again, like I said, in today's world, about 95% of the items that we purchase are made in China. It's sickening. Yeah. Different manufacturers. Um, I have a uh, the Romeo uh, 3XL. I looked where that's made. That's made in Japan. But... Uh, the, what I'm getting at is that as a reviewer, again, like I said, we have to look at everything. You're always going to know where it's made at. Uh, Primary Arms has their new, this is their uh, PLX line of uh, scope mounts. Um, this is the Warren Tactical scope mount on this thing. This is made in America. These guys are made in America. What are you going to end up when you have something like the War Hunt USA, which I absolutely despise that they actually say USA on it because it's made in China. You're going to go from a $30 uh, scope mount to a $250 scope mount, or even $140, $150. American Defense is one of the great ones that I love. Um, Spur. 
$432 for a damn scope mount. Again, it stems from this. Uh, if you have the money to go ahead and purchase something that is made in the USA, I encourage it all day long. Unfortunately, the reality of it is, and for these people who are purists who sit there and they want to scream and holler at me thinking that I'm promoting stuff from China, you have to keep in mind that not everybody has five or $600 laying around for a dot to put on their rifle. So unfortunately, until everyone cuts out the Chinese made market, my lighting, this damn mic, this, what do you call this thing? The thing that picks up the sound, my camera, the screen, the computer, the TV that you're watching this on, or the computer that you're watching this on, or the phone that you're watching this on, we will all suffer. So with that being said, let me know what your thoughts are down below. Made in China. It's a sick thought, but man, uh, unfortunately, in the world we live in, it's who we are right now, and it sucks. And the only way to remedy that situation is we have to be more competitive on a global market which means either people here are making way too much money or those people need to make money. Uh, we need to increase our tariffs, which thank God Biden is the only thing that he didn't reverse with the tariffs that they were putting on the Chinese for their imports to help make these line items a little bit more competitive. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. I just wanted to put this out real quickly. It's been weighing on my mind that every time I touch something, including this hat with the, my beloved 82nd Airborne Division, made in China. And I wonder if they only knew that this was the division who's gonna kick their ass when the day comes, they keep making these things. With that being said, if you guys let me know what your thoughts are down below. Uh, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't done so, support the red, white, and blue. God bless America, God bless those men, women in uniform, 24 7 for our freedoms, freedom's not free. Y'all be good. KB32, I am out of here. Boom. And remember, you get what you pay for.